but as luck would have it, one of the dog feeders is here with some spare goodies for our gang. And so everyone has switched their allegiance to the dog feeder instead. And fortune is about being at the right place and at the right time. For Dolly and Desiree, they had hit the jackpot before everyone else. Desiree is five weeks old, but she seems to be small for her age, don't you think? I think she is probably constitutionally small. It isn't a sign of undernourishment. It's going to be a disappointment for them further down the road. The dog feeder just happened to have some goodies suitable for them. Now where's Reddy with her kids? There she is. It's unusual for her to be missing the party. I wonder what's been keeping her. For some reason, she doesn't look her normal self to me. The regular feeder has just dumped the goodies over there. And so it's their turn finally.
And there's Lowry who made a blunder earlier on. And finally, I can see the reason why Reddy hasn't been her normal self. She has quite a big gash on her right shoulder. She must have had a bad fight. She can't use her right shoulder very well for the time being. But that should heal in a week to two. And it's fortunate that Dewey doesn't depend on mum as much for mobility now that he's 10 weeks old. Just a temporary setback for Reddy. She is on the mend with all the extra nutrients. As usual, the regular feeders work their way down. No trip will be missing. And Tiny isn't going to miss out. He is still waiting to get accepted into Loina's troop. It will still take a while before the regular feeders will sort everyone out.
Don't worry, Spocky, your turn will come. Another feeding day on Monkey Hill. So far, the monkeys are adjusting well to getting this bonanza only two days a week. A far cry from what it had been like during the lockdown.